How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, last time we killed Malice. Well, I think we killed him. It does show an injury marker there and a talk bubble. So is he not dead? Malice is badly wounded, unconscious, but his stubborn xenophiliology prevents him from expiring. Okay, so he's not dead. So, anyway, I was going to say we cleared out all this streakers and we're about to leave with the Commissar to supposedly a deserted dock, I think it was. But something's telling me something's going to go wrong with that. Because if we left Kimura this quickly with only, like, two companions, yeah, that's not happening. So, I'm going to go run around quickly. I guess we're not going that way. It's not letting me through. So, I assume you now have to go this way. Which is good. We did a full loot over there while we had the chance. So I don't think there's anything left on the sides. Curious that all these shriekers are friendly. Always keep your eye on the prize. Interesting. We do still have a mind maggot in our brain, I think. Although it's not coming up here anymore. But I guess that's because of the crippled arm. So I guess that's going to be a thing. Can we talk to the commissar? Rise so yeah. to the top. Basically, we killed this dust. guy. Well, tried to kill this guy. Cleared out his thing. And the commissar's now taking us to a dry dock. I suspect something's going to go wrong. And I'm now sensing something's a bit off. But the fact you couldn't kill him... So he's clearly going to come back later. I guess we'll figure that out. I always keep my options open. Why are we going into an arena? I'm now worried. Is this an ambush? Or is this just a trick? Well, there's your answer. They don't look surprised to see us. So, did the Commissar know he was being stupid? Or is this literally just another trap? I'm starting to get the feel that trying to play a good playthrough in this area is just backfiring continuously. Rage of the Arena. Is that this guy? I assume it's the... Oh. The fact the Commissar's taking his hat off now and he stood with him? Yeah, that's concerning. Uh, the moment the cross the you cross the portal, you realise something is amiss. The thousands of Drukari all around you, the towering bulk of an abnormally bloated muscle, whose face is hidden behind a black mask. None of this, none of it fits the Commissar's description of a quiet dock. You've brought me some good meat, but you've done well, Commissar. Yep, there's your answer. I was debating in what circumstances you actually killed the Commissar. Turns out it should be all of them. Right. Uh, the creature's guttural voice emits a menace. Examine the monster. The Hulk's body is crisscrossed with ugly scars as if someone had stitched together, uh, stitched together from different pieces. Its huge muscles are disproportionately swollen and riddled with, a pecu with peculiar wire-like augments running under the skin. Its backbone has been stripped of flesh and encased in, it in the steely grip of a spinal transplant. Its face is, is hidden behind a black helmet. Um... So we know the Commissar's betrayed us. There's no point going with that option. Yelling at that probably doesn't help. I like this option. The Commissar turns out to be yet another traitor. I believe I'm starting to see how this game is played. So am I. Um, it's alright. You won't be gullible next time. Oh wait, there won't be a next time. The Commissar makes no effort to conceal his sarcastic mockery in his voice. Farewell, comrades. Deceiving, manipulating, nudging you towards your own death has been an honour and a pleasure. Commissar jumps into, the, clo into cl the closing portal before anyone gets a chance to stop him. Satisfied crackling, uh, satisfied cackling booms behind the monster's black mask. Foolish meat falls for the same trick every time. Here's what happens to you now. They are about to unleash fighters and beasts into, uh, that will seek to eviscerate you. Try to survive until the end of the fight, meat. No one is expecting more than you, more from you. But should you kill uh, kill something after all, do it painfully. Unless the master's craving for death acne is seated, they will release me into the arena, and you will get and you will regret that. Got it? Uh, okay. So offering a deal does nothing. I'm not even going to bother pressing that option. What is this place? Gladiatorial arena of the final first cult of the final fur thrust. Sorry, first. Uh, this is where masters come for, for a new youth, and where pathetic meat from the chasm is brought to die. What will I receive if I emerge victorious? To live. Uh, the creature leans over, uh, leans down to get a better look at you, then says, uh, your life. But do not concern yourself. You will not win. 
And then I guess it's how do you want to go fighting? Definitely not doing this option. This probably ends up with us injured again. If there's one thing I'm learning about this section, you do actually have to be smart with your choice. You can't just stick to a roll if you want to actually get through easily. Um, I like this option. Are you offering me a chance to skin a few of your friends? I can hardly wait. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. I think we have to now dip into our pirate pass and start going up that route if we're going to live in here. Because going the Iconoclast route in this section definitely is bad. Off with you, meat. I think he was okay at the response, but okay. So, what are we fighting? A jury spine dwellers, for I have uh, come to sake your fi uh, fatal first. May the vicious hunt commence today. So I'm guessing this is an Archon? Of some kind? Ooh, Kikirosa. That's the one we were told about. Was that that guy or was that someone else? Uh, my wild hounds will wait the reader to taste the blood of its wretched challenges. Bathe your souls in their suffering. Make your guesses at whether the prey can overcome the predators. Kikiros, uh, if you're looking for a more refined entertainment, something, something. You're getting skipped. When you try and move this dialogue forward, it skips the next line. So I guess that's just introducing more fighters. So there's Drukari and Hounds in the arena. Oh, hello. If your soul is so hard, mother, uh, that Odin the Triumph of from Sophia's scars, enjoy the massacre of the fearsome flesh gorger. Today we will try to kill him again. That is a space marine. That is the space wolf. We finally get to meet him. So the question becomes, what is he doing down here? How long has he been here? And is he very friendly? Because I'll be honest, he... A space wolf will have absolutely no issue just murdering him. Like, space wolves are basically space vikings. And... Yeah, that, that's what they can do. Very nice kill, by the way. Um, but it's a case of how friendly are they going to be? Space Wolves, if you can appeal to their honor, typically are very friendly. But also, you know, will happily murder you if you get in their way because you are pathetic, weak human plaything. They're not exactly the nicest talkers. So is he fighting them and we're fighting these? Or is this all going on in the same arena? Because that air, air arena doesn't look big enough for a four-way fight. So my suspicion is we're going to have to kill the hounds, then have the option of going into the other arena? Or is it just going to be... We've seen the... Sorry, the world suddenly loses strength and certainty. Everything around you looks like a decoration and a sham. Horror constricts your chest. I'm trying not to skip it forward. I suspect there's more. The sound, uh, the sounds joined together uh, in a terrible loop of self-repetition, mixing with a grinding sound, becoming high and sharp like the teeth of a chainsaw, uh, and tearing at your eardrums. See, like it lingers for a bit here, and I don't know whether I should be skipping one up. Wondering whether they can improve that. Okay, so it's us versus two hounds, and they are going first. We do have a bunch of meat bags, who I will definitely be using as uh, human shields. Let's be honest, you ain't beating them in a straight fight anyway with our gear. If we had the fully geared squad, these two would be absolutely nothing. But we don't have that. So I'm probably going to get Abelard to hold there. They definitely should have to use their attacks on, I suspect, like, the first one's going here, eviscerating these two. Second one might get to here and eviscerate this guy. Do they have ranged attacks? Natural armor, so they lose armor is, you know, their health goes down. Claws, bestial rage. Okay. Phase armor, phase shift. What does that do? Is that they take a hit and they ignore something? Unsure. We'll have to figure that out as we go, but. We, we, we don't get the first turn, so they presumably come forward and wreck the meat bags. Oh, they didn't even make it all the way across. That's actually good for us. Especially since they're stacked. Which means we can shift over. Since I don't think they have ranged attacks, we can probably get away with being in the open. Like, cover is not that important to us. 
We do have this to worry about, so our ballistic skill is still relatively sh useless. Um, interesting it does more damage to the back one. Are they different types? Or is that just a facing thing? I don't know. Um, definitely put this. I'm going to need to start happen. stacking that up. Do we get more... No, the hit chance is the same. So they're, the miss chance is their dodge chance. And I think we go for the overpen. Debating whether to go... Because if we're using this, I do want to get a second attack off this turn. Definitely should knock them both up as a prey. Before anything else. On it. Not going to kill them. So that's not a thing. That guarantees a crit. Crit will reduce stuff. Uh, what was the bottom of that? The target of the attack is not to prey. The art, uh, dodge and armor reduction in granted by Cold of Bull. So it will lose a bunch of armor and di uh, dodge. And that will affect our allies as well. That might be useful to put on. Uh, what is their armor and dodge? Really high. Okay, so that's not a bad thing to put on. So we'll go with that one. It does mean we probably won't hit both. Because that would guarantee the pierce shot, but it would also, you know, probably just rip through the first one. If I bother buffing it, I mean, I've got nothing else to buff. I might as well just see how it goes, I guess. It's as good as done. I think that's phase armor acting, or phase shift. The gate's all coming from every second successful attack. Okay. Right, so we have to hit them with, like, hard and light attacks. So we fire that one at it to get rid of its phase armor. And that triggered it on the back one annoyingly. But it does mean they're both affected by this. Cool. I think that's it. There's nothing else we can do. Now it's up to how much can the, uh... So that phases it again. We have to keep track of who's phased and who's not. The back one's now unfazed. And annoyingly, I think that screws things over for Agenda, because I was hoping to get, um, like a flamer through the bow. I guess I can do that with, like, a normal single shot. What does more damage? This is 7 to 14 with a bunch of piercing. This is 5 to 8, so it's definitely the pistol. And we want to be in flamer range. What's the flamer range? tell me because it's a pistol it's nowhere near as long as our other one so what's that four squares we basically need to be there to hit the back one as well so i guess we shove forward and we do single shot there yeah they dodged both of it not terribly surprising hop concentrated fire I act. hop wildfire i have to do this in a certain order Annoyingly, that's going to be ignored because of the phase armor, but... Yeah, I have to do it in this order, so Dad, I have to hit him with that. Front one. This gets set on fire, but it does phase shift out. Because the reason we have to do it in that order is we then pop... Faith without Might as well pop this. Is worthless. Two AP left. We'll take one to do that. Okay, now we run and gun backwards get out of melee range and then swap over to this I'm assuming this will it's probably worth a shot trying to do this I don't think it's going to be very effective I'm essentially trying to uh, I'll do knock it. one over did that work? I don't think it did they're both phase shifted, but they are both on fire. And we are starting at this. This is how we're going to have to kill them. But there's no option there. They are melee focused. But how bad your... Your weapon skill's high, which means counterattack stance does work. And we will be able to block them on themselves, which will probably mess with them. So it's probably this. Cool. Bear in mind, they're phase shifted. We aren't doing damage this turn. But I, I think with heavy duty. armor now on, Avalard might be able to just bear 
and stand there. It will be done. Pop that. Pop Indeed. that. I guess pop this. At your beck and call. Just make him as tanky as possible. I don't think they'll be able to rip through him. They could certainly rip through the sister, and they will turn us into like jelly in no time. Here we go. Oi! I mean, I think that gives us. Yeah, that gives us beacon stacks, so that might be helpful in the long run, but it's yeah. annoying at the short run. What the hell are you doing? Just a minor setback. Oh, yeah, they're ripping through our temporary rooms, but they are actually giving us stacks off light hits. Yeah, they hurt a lot. So considering all we it was only temporary wood, perhaps it's even killing each other. Our, our meat bags are not meat bagging very well. So are you phase shifted right now? Yes. In which case, what we should do, we should prioritize killing one of them. Probably that one. So mark that up. Did I not mark you as prey? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. It's, a, it's shortening the debuffs more than I feel it should. We are in sniper stance, so we should be able to get away with something like this. It's not me. And this. Honest. This attack will do damage. So we should I'll see to it personally. max out this attack. And then hit I'll him as hard happen. as we can. You should have thought twice before crossing yeah, that phase shift him, but he did take a big hit. Their armor will start dropping because they're starting to take damage. And then we need to drop... It our I mean it's gonna get hit a bunch. So you're gonna hit it, you're gonna hit that one, and you're gonna hit this one. So it probably makes the most sense to save our ammo actually. Remember we are gonna have we don't have a second weapon to use on this character. So we are actually gonna have to worry about our ammo. So what you do you have exploit stacks? You should check that out. It's not the biggest oh, deal. If not me. It will matter. Just to reduce the uh, stuff up here a tiny amount. Time to slaughter someone. Again, it it's not as bad as it seems. Because they're just giving us a whole bunch of um unyielding beacon stacks, which basically will make him immune. They're actually making Albalard like a useful tank. Okay, so where are we up to? I think we did a single target last time, but they are phase... Well, that one's phase shifted, and that one is also phase shifted. So, do I run here and try and shoot down that way, or do I run here and just AoE onto this one? Because we're only going to get We'll get two AoEs off this turn. So do you do that, and then that, or do you do... That. I think you do that. This one's going to get ignored. But it will set it on fire. Then we pop wildfire. I might as well pop literally everything we can. We are getting close to heroic action, but we're not the there week. yet. And then try again, because you can see how hard this is going to hit. Faith without deeds is worthless. And also, it should be blinded now after devastating attack. It's bleeding. It's got a whole bunch of negatives. Armor is practically gone. It is taunted onto Abelard, actually, but it's going to struggle to get over there. Um, I don't see a blinding thing. I guess it requires the toughness test. Maybe they're just passing the toughness tests. Uh, I'm going to leave it there because it shouldn't be able to get through to Agenta. I'm a member. I could pop this. Um, don't think it's good on you. So what we do is just tie up Victory this one some more. It's not the biggest deal. Not, that blood's probably not going to deal a huge amount of damage, but I do need this one held in place and that one to die. At your back and call. This is a good fight. This is te this. This is you testing how good your builds are. Indeed. 
That was against range. I should have popped this one instead. I guess I still can. But that's mostly temporary wounds. Now, we do an attack, because that... The 50% damage reduction from that is going to get mostly cancelled out by the freaking guys hitting me. Okay, well, they're jumping between phase shifting and not. But I love the way they are hitting Avalon. It might seem weird to praise them for that, but what they're doing is just giving me toughness. Because Avalon's going to be up something ridiculous now. Yeah, all of our little guys are getting ripped to shreds. I want it should be on like 10 stacks of unyielding by now. Seven. But his deflection is now four. So that's sort of negating a lot of the stuff. Could pop this. They have done a bug fix to this, or at least they've said they have. Don't know how useful that is. Um, don't want to be anywhere near this thing. I'll probably shift myself over that. I do my need to drop this nature. this turn. So it's probably it's this. As as done. And we aren't going to get many shots off. I want the sister to get her heroic off, but I also need that thing dead. So probably max out the first shot and we'll just do one big, on big hit. Um... I'll see to it personally. Just see how much damage we can get into it. Decent amount. Knowing that we can't get a secondary hit on it, I'm but here, maybe she'll it. trigger the phase armor. And that'll let the sister go ham. It's surviving long enough to kill this thing and drop that thing that's going to be the problem. Definitely Power pop in this. In the will of the righteous. Um... Now, this thing's unguarded, so we now hit, need to hit this as hard as possible. I think we're on AoE. Emperor, move through me. Be the fire so, my pop heart. this. Does this make it do extra damage? No, that's just a toughness test, so that, that's not actually going to help here. Um, definitely this, though. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, killed that guy, but exploded, so that's cool. You're phase shifted now, right? That's fine. Because what we do is pull out the pistol and shoot it. For you, my emperor. And then pop wildfire. Hey, we hit again. I'll do it. Might dodge this time. Right? Cool. And that resets that. Now pop this. And we get to run over here Good and start working on this thing. Battle. So... I think we're on single target. We do need to basically max out our damage, so don't really get the option of playing around too much. Faith without. <laughs> cool. And then you just probably just run in to tie this thing up, don't you? I will do my duty. I've seen worse battles. Like he'll easily survive. Time. It's a case of making sure this thing targets us, so I do need At to get taunt off. Basically, we're now going to test Victory how tough Avalon really is. Didn't get in jaw off annoyingly, but... Could do that, but that's not the most helpful. I'd rather have it on our guy. Okay, it doesn't do half as much damage as it's doing to the normal guys. So that's fine. Um, I now need to just basically rip this thing to shreds. Are you phased? I keep having to check this. It really should be more obvious. Like, there's a slight purple glow, but it's not the most obvious thing in the world. I think the best we can do is Who, normal shot. Me? Reload. And then popping this. Just to get rid of all that armor and stuff we're going to have you a problem feel with. Honored to witness this. Might not seem like enough, but it is shredding that, and you can see all the negatives flying. Which basically is going to make it pretty much paper by the end of when I'm done. So, I think we're on AoE. 
I'm not 100% sure on that. Definitely need to get into a better position, though. That's better. That is for the weak. Might as well pop devastating on this thing. Whole bunch of damage. Get I'll the free it. reload off. Wildfire, so it doesn't matter which one of these we use now. Uh, actually, I should just still use this because it does I'll less do damage. It. This is why I was chosen. Then do this attack. Might as well pop devastating. Faith without deeds is worthless. Just to try and as blind it. You, my emperor. And then I guess it doesn't matter. So. Duty go hand in hand. Swing at this it thing. Will be done. Uh -huh. and it gets rid of its parry. Done. Sorry, it's uh, face armor. It's horn. My duty. And pop all of our live buffs, I'm going to call it. It will be done. Cool. It will attack Abelard again. Abelard will just parry and hit it back. Let's get to it. This is a fun fight. Uh, Kikarosis hands are dead. We've proven ourselves. May the cult even take us under their protection, but there are too many. For, uh, uh, there are too many of us, and there can't be too many winners. So we're now going to have to kill the little guys. More enemies to face yeah, we're going to have to kill the little guys. Saw that coming, but there aren't too many. And we go first, so... Annoyingly, it's reset all our things, but that also means we get a free reload of the weapons. So priority is to kill this guy. That guy is not going to do anything to Avalod, let's be honest. So, uh, enjoy it. your death, sir. Is a prayer. That's one way of going out, I guess. Doubt is for the weak. That... Run over here. I will bathe and this guy's going to blow up and hit Avalar, but I don't fury. think that's the biggest cause of concern. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. I was surprised. The Draken of uh, the Fallen Draken was defeated. Uh, his uh, has defeated the best warriors of the arena. Uh, the cult appreciates it. Mezarai uh, has been granted the right to join the Bloodstained Perfiate, a circle of champions. Wait, where are we? Are we? Why does he get that? Or is that him fighting on this particular area? Uh, did you expect to be a monkey challenger? Uh, survive the victim's hunt? Uh, survive the vision front? Or do you savor uh, the sight of the flesh gore devouring the, his mangled enemies? It is, your f uh, is, this your, is your fatal thirst quenched? So, interesting enough, Space Marines eating corpses? is supposed to give them memories and like ideas from the traits from the victims they're doing so what he's doing might not is be as brutish as it seems it might be more intelligent than that why is it showing grand strategist we're not a grand strategist let's get the level up done we're almost to the end of this thankfully um do we pick up eldari proficiency this would be the time. We don't have... A, for her, there's no point going through Kari weapons. Because a lot of them are melee. She's not really benefiting from it. But Eldari weapons, I think we still have a long la uh, sorry, a long rifle. Which would be very helpful here. Still don't think they fix Bloody Mess. But I think we do go Eldari weapon efficiency anyway. We were building towards it. But I'm now kind of very convinced that I should have picked it up earlier. As for you, I mean, we can't do agility, we can't do uh, that, so I guess it's perception or strength. Like, what do we need right now? Because I don't think it matters. Probably perception. And then here... <laughs> I mean, that would be the time to pick it up. Would be 5% crit and 5% armor against Xenos. Which is not a bad idea. That would also be very useful right about now. Because we don't have any other Arch Militants anyway. But I don't know... 
Space Marine's coming in, and I suspect he might be Arch Milton because it does, he doesn't really fit any of the other classes. So... Hmm. What would this give everyone? Agility, wouldn't it? Uh, I assume so. Do they not tell? Am, am I being dumb? 30% base for 5 from the wounds, 10 from origin advance. That's the one I'm looking for, so yeah. It would be 5 agility to everyone, which wouldn't be terrible. Other choices, mostly a lot. We can't give her something like Drukari proficiency because they changed it so the sister can never get it anymore. Um, don't think she needs to move very much. Could pick up another training, but I don't think that's particularly useful right about now. So... Probably is going to be one of these. It's probably this one, let's be honest. It, this is the time to pick it up. And then you... You do get the same options. You were toughness for your origin advancement, right? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's characteristic bonus. So it wasn't the thing I was looking at on Agenda, but it's that one. Toughness would be a thing around here, but I think there's always going to be better. Do I just push you in athletics, or is there something better down here? I mean, we've seen a space brain. This is now becoming more relevant. It's that one, isn't it? Just so we have the optional. I don't think we're going to get power armor anytime, like, immediately soon. But having seen that there is a Space Marine around, you'd be really, like, dumb not, not to take it right now. So, don't care about serrated mono knife. Don't care about chainmail. Nether armors. Uh, why is that? Okay. Might be better than our current, so I'm keeping it. Ripper, heavy greatsword. Yeah, that's all fine. Claws of the Beast. Okay. That's something to pick up at least. We get anything Keep off the other one? About you. More Claws of the Beast. Same shenanigans though with everything else. Cool. Uh, is there anything else near here? You're able to discern the bottom of the abyss, which is uh, out of which Kamora's uh, spires rise. Okay. Always keep your eye on the prize. Where do we go? That way? Where does that lead? That's where we were, isn't it? So there's nothing here, so we must have to go the other Let way. Not dawdle. I'm doing now. I kind of want to cut this episode shorter, just so I'm not screwing things over for next time. Oh, I guess we'll do this. Well, a bunch of people. Uh, you follow um, a just gaze. The soaring, uh, soaring through curry craft. A squirming body is nailed to its sides. That's Sergeant Visitas. I recognise him. I know his voice. Lafana, help me. Uh, we have to save people. Uh, these people from their tor from this torture. One of the Drukari on board sneers upon hearing Agenta's shouts, electing a wave of approving cheers. The Drukari kicks one of the groaning bodies, blatantly savouring his untouchability. Impossible. Avalard shakes his head, looking at the prisoners. Um... So there is a high class iconoclast thing here. Okay. Um, so de normal options would be they would be on saving, let them go. That's probably the more realistic option. Trying to propose we don't do it or shooting them in the head, which I'll be honest is probably the more realistic way of how this plays out. So do the iconoclast one. I'm curious how this plays out. This is going to be odd. Uh, aim and shoot the engine. By uh, Be ready. We need to act quickly. I just shot the whole platform down. By some mir miracle, Sergeant Vigitus is still, is still alive. His sides and forearms are impaled on crooked spikes that uh, cover the side of the craft, but his vital organs are intact. The Jakari know, the pro uh, know how to prolong the process of the victim's suffering, 
The rest of these people are not as fortunate. Some have nearly bled out, and others succumb on the rough impact. So we saved somebody? <laughs> Just stands up and walks off despite being impaled on numerous places. Uh, Agenda hesitates for a split second as if to confirm she is not imagining what she, uh, she is seeing. Then rushes over to the sergeant, lifts him out of the wreckage. She applies pressure to his wounds before turning uh, her head to you and whispering, Thank you, Lafana. Okay. I so Iconoclast is plan. not completely useless here. The Commissar the Traitor. Oh, that's what the guy is saying. Okay, so he's not led... Oh, just does. I guess we now go back through the portal and kill the Commissar. Uh, prisoner appears dead until you notice his eyes, which... Which are filled with pain of uh, following your every move. I'm begging you, finish me. But there's a bunch of loot, but I suspect it's on the other platform. And there's a way in there. Okay, so I think we just have to go through here. There's no other paths I'm noticing. This is all new to me, so forgive me for being slow and making sure I don't miss something. But I, this story is very intricate, and skipping along ends badly. A ship was supposed to be waiting. A ship waiting yet. Yeah, small just to the comes off the traders. Okay, there's all dust. the loot from the other people. Ooh, we get long glasses. Oh, that's such an upgrade. Like, uh, we are solid projectile based, but having long glasses is going to be cool. We also can now use the uh, long rifle. And then we'll see where we're at. Because if there are going to be more long fights like that, I'm probably going to have to cut the episodes into shorter bunches, just because... They take forever, and I don't want, like, an hour and a half episodes. No one watches them. <laughs> they're, they're so long already. Oh, we come out of the arena area. Oh, it's the solitaire again. The stranger standing before you brings to mind a, a motley-coloured, long-limbed doll abandoned amid car uh, carnage in Ditterus. The bright colours of his sleek costume seem comical against the unremitting gloom and hostility of this place. Own the sorrowful horned mask that hides his face and dark hooded cloak he wears pay tribute to the overwhelming uh, air of hopelessness. Every move, move the Xenos makes sings with a theatrical precision and a prejudice's grace. You cannot decide if this person is an accomplished dancer or a master assassin. Yes. Yes, is the answer. Oh. Yeah, we failed the Xenos test because we're so far down. I, I can tell you what it is, but yeah. Uh, you've never heard of such a Xenos before. What is it he doing in the chasm, and why is he standing before you now? The crib of Putrid Flap offers you your t uh, offers bends your taste. Oblivion comes now. Here it's knocked and plays. I am the starlit stain that chills the soul. Doom of uh, the pe the peace that dooms fongs pits into dance. You are among them, merchant vagabond. So tread the steps I say. Escape f uh, escape fate's grasp. Okay, knowing what it is. Hmm. Attacking it, definitely bad. Telling you it's about you, definitely bad. Um, asking about your companions is a thing. That's definitely a thing. Um, that's definitely a bad option, so we're on the top two. What is this dance you are so intent in drawing me into? The steps you already know, Vagabond, the knife Ed Mitten, uh, minute you pre must perform. Between Oblivion, your f uh, foes, and your friends. So heed my sonic well, it holds the key. A melody of snaring agony beguiles, uh, beguiling now by rending flesh bewitched. Through sin bo uh, sinew bone and ghastly pugetry, it calls the blood soaked rape to come unstitched. A haggard chorus in the hole behind. Their flesh employed to serve the maest uh, maestro's art. No prayer for mercy slips uh, from throats confined. The, ban the baton sets beats of every heart. And the entrails uh, are for him an instrument. And the veins are living, steve uh, living stave stands parallel. Yet death to him is no impediment for corpses tunes do carry just as well. Through spectacles of blood and uh, gore forged past, should carve your eyes a glimpse of sun's light at last? Uh... Yeah, okay, so the iconoclast is sort of explaining things as they are. 
Uh, we have the option of the things. Everything's perfectly clear. There is a, a certain maestro of flesh who conducts experiments. That's in the... Uh, was it the... There was some sort of arena thing at the back we didn't get going to before. Um, he has a laboratory that can only be asked by the fighting arena to draw his attention. Well, as a, uh, with his assistance, I will be able to escape the chasm. Oh, yes, your name is Nocturne of Oblivion. I, have I missed anything else? Xenos stands still, looks you intently. He's not accustomed to anyone, so uh, adult in quickly navigating his verbal labyrinth. That much is clear. At last, you hear a low chuckle behind the mask. Xenos claps uh, his hands slowly, saying one word. Brava! The indigo ripple passes over Xenos' uh, body and dissipates like a bad dream. Yeah, Solitaire, if he'd wanted to leave at speed, we wouldn't have even seen it. Just, gone. Whatever. Basically teleporting. Okay. So now late? we go here. It's the Amatomical Opera. Those still don't have lights. Going back to the Mangled Sect, I don't think we have Melter Charges still, or anything explosive. Keep your wits about you. Have we missed anything? I mean, I'm going to have a quick look round. But then probably call it before we enter that area. Oh, we found Yolette. Why have we surrounded them? This is not how things. The Eldari runs a hand over her face before turning. Her, skin is pale, uh, her pale skin is tightly stretched over the bones of her skull. Her eyes uh, have lost their glimmer and her neck uh, is stooped under the unseen burden. And yet you still recognize her. Yolette, your former companion, the reason for your imprisonment within these dark walls. I was hoping... I'd have a bit more time before I had to take this decision. So, a couple of things to think about. I'm, I'm now doing this purely off a roleplay perspective. One, that guy's injured. Surrounded by three Drukari, who's clearly angry at her. And she's in a fighting stance. So my suspicion is she's trying to save him. She's not doing well herself. We might have to fight these Drukari. It's whether I... Do I trust Yolette again? I don't like having to make this choice. <sighs> okay, I said before this was the Yalat playthrough, and I suspect we're going to hear a lot about all her craft world stuff as her excuse for it. So I suspect we'll go with it this time. We'll just see how it goes. This may be a very, very regretful decision. But anyway, moving on. That glance at your eyes widen slightly, but it, uh, that is the only change you detect in her intense expression. Whatever emotions she may be feeling, she's suppressing them well. Ellen Tark. Mm. <laughs> you could just kill her outright. I honestly would not blame people for doing that. Is that... I wonder if in the um, dogmatic playthrough, you kind of forced to have her get to this point and then you kill her. That might be the dogmatic proof. That is going to be a thing. Hmm. Do I think any of these are circle conversations? My instinct is telling me no. So we'll go with this one. Yeah, it looks you in, in disbelief. Your voice. Do I hear a semblance of jubilation? But how can that be, Alan Tart? Because of me, you... One of the Xenos who were watching you let torture the silent victim steps forward. Did the monkey come for a taste of pain? Then you must have uh, patience. Our little guest is uh, still has so much suffering to extract from her first victim. Your prey is far from empty, you let. Do not hold back. They grasp the blade in her hand and immediately winces. Her spirit stone is emanating red glow. She touches it with an anguished expression. The suffering overwhelms me no more. I cannot bear it any longer. <laughs> we could just kill one of things. Okay, so. Questioning her. I kind of get what's going on. Yolette is being essentially forced into torturing people to try and feed the Drukari so they don't just kill her. She is a far more valuable prize than any of the humans in here. She's probably under some protection, but it's not going to last long. If at all. In fact, uh... Mazarai's not in charge anymore. I'm surprised she's still free. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, saving your let is the obvious you let playthrough here. This is evil. Don't like this option. This is going to end badly while they're alive. It's a question of do I think this is a circle conversation? You know what? I'm just going to go all in on it. I don't want to risk this not being a circle conversation at this point. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Rip the blade out of Yolette's hand and kill the Jakari you just spoke. Uh, Yolette is mine. You cannot have her. The Jakari is too enthralled by the victim's torture to react in time. The blade goes through his throat and things collapse in a visceral wheeze. <laughs> Items received. Serrated mono knife. Item lost. Serrated mono knife. <laughs> Kin moved to draw their weapons, but freeze, transfixed by the sight of their brother, thrashing in agony. Yolette takes a ragged breath. For the Dark Ones to toy... Uh, from the Dark Ones' toy to a monkey's property. My past shows me no mercy, Alan Tark. Tell me, will you find the heart and strength to resolve to forgive me, to allow me to share the path with you once more? Mm. That's the full iconoclast option. It's probably the one we're going to go with, but let's read through. Still have this one? In the face. I don't know why you do that and then do this one. That that, that confuses me. Uh, that's definitely not what we're going for. That is the more pragmatic approach. This is the more realistic approach. Hmm. Definitely want to hear more about it, so we'll go with this one. This is the full forgiveness arc. This is the... Uh, more realistic. So, we yet have a word about your deeds. Now, however, is not, uh, it is the time to leave. You let nods warily. You are right. Explanations uh, and understanding are now ours to pursue. And yet, your willingness to take me back astounds me, Alan Tuck, and it frightens me an equal part. So, you're in heed my word. I will not fail you. <laughs> fail in your your faith in me again. Still, it's only best uh, flashes and slowly dims. Yeah. So you can. The idea of spirit stones is they are sort of alive. And the fact that her was going red, it was struggling with her position, like her consciousness, like was the connection between the two was breaking. And if an Eldar loses the connection to Spirit Stone, they're basically screwed. So, yeah, definitely. Think. I think they basically at that point have to go into Drukari and start torturing people to live. They basically have to pursue their whole craft. So yeah, well, glad we did this one. Definitely some interesting points. They are noting a lot of good stuff here. I'm just curious how her story goes now. So, uh, yeah, go on. Do we have to fight these guys? Now let's walk away from these nightmares and sink into the strings into uh, sink their stings into the darkest recesses of my ravaged soul. So that that reach uh, that sink their stings into the darkest recesses of my ravaged soul. So the Jakari run off. I assume this guy's supposed to be dead. Um, do you have a I level up to do? We'll do that first, and then oh, that's the scourge again. At least I think it's a scourge. I'm never fully sure of their names. And a bunch of stuff. Examine the fragments. Okay, Morak. How did you fail that one? That was no... Oh, you unlucky. Um, every vial lies on the ground. It contains a stimulant that is unfamiliar to you. Okay, so we don't get a second chance though. Annoying that that failed then. One, does he have weapons? If not, she gets the long rifle. Which is annoying, because we just picked up the long rifle for us, but... I guess that gives us a decent second ranged option here. Um, anything else we can give you? I mean, the armor's better than nothing, I guess, but it's medium, annoyingly. Would have preferred light. You Oh, we never gave you your heavy leather armor. Right, that should have gone on earlier. Guess we can swap that over now. And then these can go on you. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, and now moving on, what else do we have to put on here? That's useless for you. That's useless for you. I guess we could put them on, but that's not really doing much. So we'll do the level up and then we'll call it an episode. So you let's level up. We do have only one common talent. Do have all of these. So I guess it's Law Xenos. 
I can't think of another one she'd want to pick up. She already has nimble. She already has swift movements. She's not really using other weapon types. That she already has. So it's probably Law, Law Xenos. Just make her the full Law Xenos person. She should not be failing Law Xenos tests like that. Could also buff the awareness, but don't know how effective that would be. I want to get that to advance, because when you start getting the rerolls, that'll be where you can really start um, using people for the maximum. Other than that, I think we're good. Grace, do we have any good armor to put on ourselves? No, there's no light armor around. This is something I'm noticing. How does this compare to that? Badly. Although Xenos Mesh is good. Okay, so I think that'll do for this episode. Not I'll see you guys in the next one.